Hey, so I wanted to make a quick video about NFTs. So I'm sure that you've all have heard about uh, NFTs all over Facebook, all over the internet. Uh, the huge sale of an NFT. I think it's like the first major sale of an NFT uh, of that magnitude. I think it was like $69 million, something like that. Crazy. So obviously as a digital artist, I want to see what this is all about. I kind of want to get in on it, see what it's all about, see if it's uh, worth it for me. Now, uh, honestly, I have no idea about NFTs, cryptocurrency. I'm not in that world at all. I have no idea what I'm doing or what I'm talking about. But I know there's a lot of other artists who are like me. They, they really don't know what it's all about, why it's blowing up right now, any of that stuff. So I, I kind of wanted to just bring you along on my journey to see what it's all about because I, I just don't know. You know, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of things on Facebook and Facebook groups about how uh, it's the next best thing for digital art, how it's the next worst thing for the planet. I don't know. But I figured I would I would sort of bring you through my, my journey as it stands uh, right now. So NFT is a non-fungible token. And the way that I understand it um, is like a f something fungible would be like if I gave you my $100 bill, and then you gave me your hundred dollar bill it wouldn't really matter we would both be happy because they're the same so i think that's fungible and i think non-fungible would be like uh you can't trade like your dog like let's say you have a certain breed of dog like someone can't just give you that breed of dog you're gonna want your dog because your dog is specific to you it can't be you know it's not like a hundred dollar bill um, it's just very different. So uh, that's kind of how I understand it. Now what that what, what a token is, what that really means, I don't know. But uh, And another thing, the way that I wrap my mind around this whole sort of NFT thing is it's sort of a way to kind of put digital art in the same realm as fine art. So, you know, with fine art, like you have an art piece, you know who made it, when they made it, you have a certificate of authenticity with digital art you don't really have that so digital arts kind of been left by the wayside you know why can't digital art be fine art as well so this is a sort of a way to have a certificate of authenticity this is the person that created it uh, this is I guess all the information that goes along with that who created it when they created it and then you can someone can buy it and then they can sell it to someone else and if you want you can put like Oh, you know, for every time it's sold, you get 10% back. Something like that. So that's what I understand so far. So obviously, if you're a digital artist, um, to be able to think of your art as fine art, to be able to think of your art as a thing that someone can purchase and have ownership of, and then it can move around sort of like actual fine physical fine art, I think that's you know kind of a, a new sort of prestige for digital art and for me that's it's it sounds great because I think I do a lot of really cool digital art and it's a shame that it'll never get the recognition that you know art might get physical art might get you know like a painting or a drawing and things like that which I've also done but now I work all in digital art so that sounds good to me so Anyway, um, so NFTs, um, you can put your art as an NFT, you can make a tweet an NFT, I guess it's just like a moment in time, it's either for in, in, in my, for me it would be like a, an image, but I guess it could be a moment, a video, something like that, it can be anything, but it's a way to, it's a way to show, um, it's, uh, it's a way to show ownership of it, so someone can have a thousand copies of an image, but there is one person that would be like, no, like I actually own this image. This image is, is, is mine. So, you know, I mean, it's sort of like people can make copies of a famous painting and hang them up and things like that. But there's a certain prestige to actually owning the original painting. Um, so that's, that's sort of how it makes sense to me. Cryptocurrency, I have no, I have no idea. I, have no, I know nothing about. Um, and it's honestly, it's been a nightmare to try to figure out how to get into that world and what it all means. 
I'm still very confused. So what I've done so far is I did a little bit of research and OpenSea, OpenSea.io, I think, or .oi. So OpenSea is like a NFT marketplace. So you can just peruse that, that website now and you'll see th the images, the things that people are selling as NFTs. Um, they just all seem like to be really weird, like GIFs and little weird images. Um, so I'm not really, I don't know. I don't really know what that's all about. I don't know why people are selling all these little weird GIFs and things like that. But I've only perused it uh, just very sparsely just to kind of check it out. So I did make a profile there and I uploaded an image that I want to be my first NFT. So I made a little profile on OpenSea. Um, I did all of that, uh, which that's not very difficult. Even if you don't know what an NFT is or what you know what the marketplace is for, it's just like anything else. You can just sign up, put your information in, and you can upload an image, and then you can go to like sell it. You know, sort of like it was eBay or something like that. Uh, the only problem is you have to have a like a Ethereum, I think it's called. Your Ethereum, Ethereum. You have to have an Ethereum wallet. So. Ethereum is a sort of cryptocurrency, sort of like Bitcoin. Um, I'm not really sure why they're different, but they're different. Um, I think, I, I honestly, I don't know, so I'm not really going to speak on it. But that's what you need. So you need ethereum so you have to have money in your account to be able to sell I guess the first time you, you try to sell an NFT on a marketplace you have to pay something called gas which I guess that's sort of like a that's sort of like a fee in order to put your thing on the market so it's just like if you were to go to a flea market and you had to pay $25 for a table and then you can put your stuff on that table so that's in a nutshell that's how I sort of understand it so you have to pay something called gas it's called gas so that's sort of like your fee so but you need to have Ethereum in your account and in order to have Ethereum in your account, you have to change your real money into Ethereum. Um, Ethereum. Uh, if I'm saying it wrong, again, I really don't know what I'm talking about, but I've been trying. So you would think that you'd just be able to go to your bank account and convert your money using a website or something like that. But they have all these digital wallets and there's all these hoops and all these weird things that you have to do to try to get your money converted. And as of now, I tried to sign up with uh, Coinbase. Coinbase, I don't know if it's a, a wallet or it's a, a way to, to exchange your money, but I read that Coinbase was pretty good, so I tried to use that, but I sort of messed up on my sign up because I have an out-of-state license, so um, it wouldn't let me finish my, like it just said that, oh, you're not allowed to to buy or exchange currency and I just get like an exclamation point now so I'm just kinda like dead in the water so I, I can't use it I tried to make a new account you know but I still have to put some of the same information in obviously and I just can't use the account I guess they think that I'm trying to like you know um, do something nefarious or something like that so I've reached out to them I sent like emails saying like you know I made a mistake when I was trying to uh, get verified this and that haven't heard anything I'm assuming that I probably won't hear anything so I just gave up on coinbase so the next one I tried was one called Gemini so I'm in the process of setting up a uh, a wallet or setting up a way to change my real USD money into ethereum so the the reason why I haven't been able to do that yet is because I don't trust any of these sites or any of these things with my regular bank account that has all of my money in it. So I'm going to transfer, I'm going to exchange the money into Ethereum 
but I wanted to make a new bank account so I decided to make a Chime account. So Chime is kind of like an online type bank um, and basically I'm just going to use that bank. I'm going to put some money, put a few hundred dollars in that bank account and I'm just going to use this one to exchange. That way worst comes to worst I don't lose all of my money to my name. I just some some of the sites they want you to put your username and password for your bank accounts and things like that and I just I don't know enough to trust it so what I decided to do was just open a brand new chime account I'm still waiting for my card to come so once I have that situated then I can go back on Gemini um, and transfer and exchange my money into Ethereum and then I can go back to uh, OpenSea and I can hopefully just get that to work hopefully I'll have the money in that account and I'll be able to sort of link the cryptocurrency and I'll be able to list my artwork on the marketplace so that's kind of where I am now and some of the other hoops I had to go through was because I'm in New York there's a lot of uh, I can't use a lot of the sites because New York just doesn't allow them which I didn't realize until I get to the sign up process and you put in I put in New York and it says, oh, we're, this isn't available in your state. Um, so there's that. There's verifying. Uh, all of these sites, all of these cryptocurrency sites are not user friendly. Um, there's a lot of places that you can kind of get hung up and they might not work. Like they ask for IDs. You need, you need either a state issued license that has to match like your home address. And they don't take passports because it's sort of like state by state. So this was a this was a big issue that I'm sort of figuring out. Um, still had to work through, but so far Gemini, Gemini um, I don't know if it's Gemini.com or Gemini something. It's some sort of Gemini cryptocurrency site. Um, so far so good. And once I have my Chime account, I'll be able to move forward with that. Um, as of as as far as what I expect from it, I really don't know. Um, I really have no idea. I don't know who would want to buy it. If anyone's going to buy it. Uh, I still have to look at a lot of videos for um, the effect that this has on the on the environment or on the on the planet. Apparently, it takes a lot of computing power to put something on a blockchain, which I completely just don't understand at all. Like, um, my impression is that like almost every person, not every person, a, a lot of people are using a lot of computer computer power all the time, every day. So I'm not sure why this is so much of a so much of a a leap that this is gonna like make everything make the the world crumble but i don't know that's what i'm that's what i'm hearing so i have to do more investigation on that and see you know how i feel about it um but yeah i mean it's this thing is all it's still very new i still don't know much about cryptocurrency i kind of feel like i just have to fumble my way through but right now I must say like it's been a nightmare like this whole thing has been a real nightmare and nothing has been worth it so far because I haven't been able to do anything and it seems like every step along the way it's like they're trying to stop me from from figuring out how to make this work you know it's the it's the least smooth thing ever it's like I just want to I just want to exchange my money and I need to go through like five or six different websites just to do that and they all want your bank information and all your all your social security number and things that like you know it just everything is like kind of set up to make it feel like there's people that are smarter than you that are going to steal all your money so that's why I went with the chip with the chime account because I can't I can't be having that happen to me so I think that's uh, I think that's about it for now uh, I will keep you guys updated on how it goes and what's happening because this is all just very confusing and very new and but I, I feel like it might be worth it to figure out what it's all about um, I know not to some people some people are gonna it seems like some people are like to the extreme where they just think that this is the worst thing in the world um, I don't know so I'm gonna play it by ear and as I learn more I will share it with you guys and if you have any comments or have any any websites or videos or, or resources I've, I've looked at a bunch of stuff from um, crypto 
um, some some woman on on uh, YouTube, crypto something, crypto someone, uh, girl's name, and I, I did got a lot of inform a lot of good information from her. So hopefully I'll 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 look that up and I'll, I'll link it. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. It's um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know. I think that I think that's all. Even thinking about this stuff really makes my brain melt. So I think I'm gonna end it there. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, let me know what you think about NFTs. If you have any experience, please let me know. Please comment. Comment below. I am such a dumb dumb. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Correct me, please. Like I, I want you to correct me. Um, I want all the information that I can get, uh, whether I'm going to like it or not. You know, I'll still make my decision, but I want to know everything. I want to know what you know. And I want to know if you're interested in NFTs and if you have any experience with NFTs or cryptocurrency, because I could use all the help. I can get so put all your links and and comment below let me know and for now keep drawing and i'll see you in the next video